this video, I will share to you a fun activity that I do with my students whenever our topic is about density. Each student will have a clay. Then, I will ask them if a clay will float or sink in water. Everyone will say that a clay will sink in water. Then, we will have a short discussion about density. The clay sinks at the bottom because its density is higher than the water. Next, I will ask them to design a boat that can float in water using their clay. Each student can come forward to test whether their boats will float or sink. The density of an object determines whether it will float or sink in another substance. This time, the clay boat floats because its density is less than the surrounding water. My way of testing the boats is by using 10 pieces of rounded clay. If the boat can carry 10 pieces of loads, that is 10 points. They will put the loads themselves. Oops! Nine points! Kids love this activity. They keep trying their best to create a boat that will not sink easily. You may ask questions like, what makes the clay to float on water? Does changing the volume of the clay affect its buoyancy? Why ships made of steel float on water, and a single piece of steel, or even a needle, sink? 